Good morning, everybody. Today is December 10th, uh, 2016, and I woke up about like two hours ago, ate some pancakes, my favorite, um, and now I'm about to go hit the gym. Today I have an AMRAP on deadlift and bench. I'm hitting 355 on deadlifts and either 220 or 225 on bench. And what AMRAP stands for, if you don't know what that means, it means as many reps as possible. So you just rep out the weight for as much reps you can until failure. And I, I don't do any working sets up to that usually. Well, I usually do, but on this day, the, the rep test day, um, I don't do any uh, working sets, which means like I'll work with that weight before. Like, I'll, for example, I'll do three sets of two, and then the last set, I'll hit as many reps as possible to failure. So I'm not doing any working sets before the actual AMRAP set. I'm just working up to that weight, for example, 355. Once I hit the weight, I just bang it out for as much reps as I can. So that's what I got today as far as my deadlift and bench. Then after that, I have shoulder and arm work today, and then that's pretty much it. I have finals coming up this week, so I'll probably go to the library a little bit later. Um, and I'll take you guys with me, so let's get it. What's good, everybody? So here we have my AMRAP set with 355 pounds. I managed to get five reps. Um, it felt a lot easier, or no, it looks a lot easier than what it felt. Felt pretty heavy. Uh, still a lot better than previous weeks, but um, I feel that I could have gotten maybe one more uh, rep in there. But all in all, I felt pretty good, and, and my form is pretty good. This is the first time that I actually record myself doing conventionals. So with this heavy weight, it, it was pretty good. It, it didn't look too bad, so I'm going to let this roll for a little bit. So after my AMRAP set, I decided to get a little bit of work in. Uh, I just went with 315. I did three sets of five reps, and I decided just to do a, an AMRAP 2 on the last set, and I actually got 10, and that's the next clip you're going to see. But here's, my, I believe, my second set of five. So after deadlifts, I moved on to my AMRAP with, uh, on bench. Here, I'm hitting 225, and I got four reps. I felt that I could have gotten one more. Um, I got out of position. My right scapula was still in position. It was depressed and retracted into the bench, but my left one actually got a little bit higher, so that kind of messed me up. So I, I just stopped it at four. But then after that, I went into some single arm overhead press, uh, I supersetted this with hammer curls. I did four sets of 12 on both exercises. So I did the left arm, and then I moved on to the right arm, and then I supersetted it with the hammer curls, which are, you're going to see in next.
So then after that super set, I moved on to incline dumbbell press. Uh, I did a set of 10 with the 70s, a set of 8 with the 80s. And since it felt so good, I went for a PR and I went with the 90s for 6. Or I, I believe it was actually 7. On the 8th rep, I didn't have the juice still in the tank to push it. So I stopped there, but I was pretty excited about this. Alright, so the session went pretty well. I have to say, um, 355 hasn't didn't feel as heavy as it has been. Uh, probably because I have I didn't do working sets and I just went straight into the AMRAP. And I've only deadlifted once before today, this week. So when when I schedule this rep test day, uh, at the beginning of the week I have one day for a light bench and light deadlift session, and then one the next day I do a light squat just to get that little bit of work in and then the rest of the week is pretty light. I don't I don't touch the bar anymore after those two days. I usually just stick to um, hypertrophy work. I'll do like um, kind of like a push pull and, and leg session and then I'll do my rep test day. So yesterday was my squat. Did I rep test yesterday? Yeah, it did it. I I still only got three. I was hoping for five, but anyways, went pretty good. So I'm probably gonna do a voiceover over the actual exercises. But what I didn't get to film was the last exercise, which was uh, laying on a bench. I was doing skull crusher single arm with a dumbbell, three sets of twelve, and I didn't film it because it's pretty boring. It's basic movement. So, but. 90s for for six what the last time i touched the incline the heaviest i went was probably like a month or two ago and i may i got maybe the the 80s for i think three or four reps to be honest so hitting those 90s was crazy but i i gotta say my arms went numb after i put them up after my first rep my hands went numb but I still had the power to push it, was, which was weird because they were numb, but they were still going. And it was, I mean, I, I'm not complaining because I still got it. But so definitely I'm going to be throwing those in uh, this week on Monday starting. I'm going to actually start small off junior. And if you don't know what that is, I'll get into more detail. I'll do a video on it, uh, explaining my split, you know, each day, the sets and the reps and all that. And kind of what my goals are with this program and what I'm going to do be and what I'm going to be doing after. So. That's it for right now. Um, if there's anything else, I'll show you guys. So I'll just cut it here. So I'll see you guys later.